Just what's the, the state of the quarterback competition right now? Uh, just still wide open. You know, uh, of course, uh, Lamontez, Ivy, uh, you know, is the most experienced quarterback that we have. And, uh, you know, he's taking most of the reps with the ones. But we're also splitting them up with all the rest of them. And Jawan Adams is also getting some reps uh, with the twos and the threes uh, as we bring him along. And is there an ideal time when you guys want to name a starter? Uh, I wouldn't say an ideal time, but sometimes before the first game, maybe the week before the first game, but somewhere in that vicinity. What are your thoughts on the, the running game after the first week? Wow, well, I'm excited about our running game. Uh, Robert Johnson uh, had, had came back extremely, uh, you know, after he had his surgery, came back uh, – running the ball extremely well. Um, our uh, freshman running back, Terry Sullivan. Um, we have Josh, uh, uh, Josh, about Josh Bates uh, is running the ball extremely well. Um, all of our backs, I think that's one of the strengths of our team that we found uh, is, is our running game. In your time with Lamont so far, what's the biggest thing you've learned about him or noticed about him as a player? Well, one thing I've really seen in him um, over the past uh, eight months since I've been here is his maturity level, where he has uh, grown up and, and became a leader, become a leader in every aspect, you know, not just on the field but off the field. He graduated. He got his degree. He does things the right way. He wants to win. He wants to be a leader. And, and just his maturing process over the past, past few months is what I've really been impressed with. Is there a specific facet of his game that you've been – kind of trying to harp on it all so far in this early going to, to improve, or what are you seeing out of him? Well, well, one of the primary things with him is to keep him healthy. You know, last year he was beat up and, uh, you know, recovering from injuries to gain that full steam of confidence back so that, you know, if he is named the starter when he steps into the arena to play the first game of the year, uh, he has that confidence, he has that swagger. Uh, and, and belief in his ability because he's an extremely talented kid. He can throw, he can run, he's got great size, he's got great tools, and he's got experience. And we all know that in order for us to have a great team, he has to have a great season. That's something you feel like you have to like remind him of a little bit every now and then, like kind of just boost him? I guess. Well, Coach Germany does a great job with coaching our quarterbacks and uh, getting them in the right place with the right reads and the right calls and in the right situations at the right time. And so uh, with that leadership, I trust Coach Germany that, that he'll get Lamonte as where he needs to be as a position coach and as an offensive coordinator. Can you talk a little bit about the evolution of uh, Keontre Anderson? And can you see him being that type player that, that Javante is now as an All-American and just with his versatility? Well, I tell you, uh, the last two, two days of practice, uh, Keontre has practiced like a warrior and uh, really developed and has come uh, a long way. Uh, you know, he's kind of beat up in the spring, but uh, he's having an excellent fall camp and is also stepping up and becoming a leader in a lot of different ways. So I'm excited about uh, his future and the direction of his future. And if he'll keep practicing like he's practicing now, he'll have a great year and, and who knows what, what he can accomplish. Are there any other guys that are kind of making a name for themselves in the first couple of days of practice? Well, of course, uh, Deshaun Tillman. Uh, he's he's playing uh, extremely extremely well. Uh, Kwame Bo, uh, uh, Kwame uh, Bowens is also playing extremely well and uh, and has made a lot of strides from the spring ball. Uh, you know, making the adjustment to the new defense and things like that. Uh, I'm really excited about our offensive line: Marcus Cook, Frank Carter, uh, those guys, uh, Kristen Marshall have grabbed the bull by the horns, and they're playing at a, another level. And, and our offensive line is probably our most improved unit overall together as a whole unit from the spring till now. So, you know, hopefully we can continue to keep them healthy and keep them, you know, improving through the season and be interested to see what we can do if we can keep that unit playing well. Uh, I know you're a big one in a line of scrimmage and winning that battle. You just talked about the offensive line. How's the defensive line? Well, you know, we, we had a great practice this morning, and it's competitive. Uh, we go back and forth, and that's what makes great teams. Uh, when the offense has success, uh, you know, the offensive players celebrate, the offensive coaches celebrate, you know, high five, hip, hip bump, uh, you know, uh, all types of celebration. And then the defense comes back in the next series and, you know, makes a tackle for loss or makes a big play on that side of the line of scrimmage. And to me as a, a, a head coach, 
I want to keep that competitive edge going all the time, and then that, that makes you um, competitive, and that tells you a lot about your team. Are we willing to compete? Are we willing to fight? And uh, when we do that, you know, I think that we have a chance to have a good football team. You mentioned the first week of practice you wanted, you know, everybody compete at a high level and, and start installing the playbook. What what do you want to get accomplished the second week of practice? Uh, the second week of, week of practice, you would love to see start seeing some better execution, which I saw this morning. Uh, are we going to be perfect in everything that we do? No, but uh, this morning we worked on a situational um, – it wasn't a situational scrimmage, but it was a situ situational uh, team drill where it was a first and second down. And uh, – if it's first down and 10, uh, the, the competitive nature is the offense. We want them to get into second and short and, uh, and then pick up a first down. Defense, we want to keep them in second and long and get it to third down and get off the field on third down. So you go back and forth, back and forth. And so from the first week where we were just calling plays and lining up and running plays and and trying to get the kids back used to playing football, now we kind of narrow it down to say, okay, here are situations. We're not just playing football, but it, it develops the mindset that uh, this is what we got to do. We got to get seven yards on, on first down. Hey, we got to stop them. We, we can't allow them to get more than three yards on first down. And those type of things is what I want to see us improve on as we continue to go forward. What stood out to you on the special team side of things after the first week? Um, on the special team side of things, you know, we, we just installed. We didn't do a lot of uh, schematic. Uh, right now, to identify special teams players, we're putting them to, through a lot of drill work and a little bit of scheme. We have a, a special teams walkthrough uh, later on this afternoon, just primarily for special oh. teams. And I'm trying to identify those players that would be great special teams players for us not worried about how good they are on offense or defense, but how well they can perform on special teams is very important. And uh, that's very important to me as the head coach to get those kids to understand that, you know, in order to be a great player first, you got to be a great special teams player. If you ever have a dream of playing in the NFL, you got to be a great special teams player. And uh, trying to get that mindset into our team, no matter if you're a starter, your backup, or how much you played last year, uh, it really doesn't matter. It's uh, how much are you willing to sacrifice to be a great special teams player? How are the, the kicking and punting game coming along? The kicking game and punting game is coming along. We're, we're working on it constantly. Uh, and, and like I said, uh, the more we go, the more we'll install. Uh, but right now it's more installation and less find out who can do what, who can we trust to protect on the punt team. And like, like I tell the kids, uh, you know, in high school, you might have been the star running back. You might have been highly recruited. You might have been the guy that touched the ball. But when you get to college, I'm the right guard on the punt team. You know, you didn't sign up for that, you know. Or I might be the left guard on the kickoff return team, and you didn't sign up for that. But all of that comes with being unselfish and learning how to play football. And if you learn how to be a great special teams player, you will become a great every down player because it just works hand in hand. You mentioned the mental aspect of the game. As a coach with that grasping of the playbook and such, do you have a certain point in camp that you expect your guys to maybe not fully grasp it, but to be at a, a certain basic understanding? Yeah, and, and, and that comes because, you know, your basic fundamentals on the offensive side of the ball or the defensive side of the ball is never going to change throughout from, from game one through game 12 or from – practice one through practice 47, whatever that is, the fundamentals of the footwork, the hand placement, the eyes, the coordination of an offense, of a defense, that doesn't change. You know, you may make a call now in August, and you may make the same call in November, and you expect the execution to be at a higher level in November because the amount of times you've repped that particular play. Excellent, really, really it is excellent. Uh, you know, we, ha we are having a lot of contact work and, and some physical practices, but, you know, uh, that's football. You know, you, you hate for kids to, you know, uh, or anyone to get injured, but the nature of the beast is that, you know, you have high-speed collisions and, and kids are going to get injured. But, you know, managing the injuries and getting their treatment and getting the recovery and getting the kids back on the field, is very important to us in taking care of the kids and making sure that they are healthy, not just from an injury standpoint, but from a nutrition and a hydration standpoint because 
Uh, we don't want anybody to dehydrate or lose anybody because, you know, they don't take care of their body. What are your thoughts on the, the group of freshmen, maybe the newcomers that you have after this first week? We're very excited. Uh, very, very, very excited. Uh, you know, Jordan Johnson, uh, Kobe Gates, Terry Sullivan, uh, Deryan Wansley, uh, Charles Anderson, Leroy Roddy, um, all are having excellent camps. Uh, uh, Cahill um, is also having a, a, a great camp. And so, um, you know, we, we're, we're working the freshmen in to see who's going to be able to help us early. And uh, we're excited about our freshman class and the way that they look and uh, trying to get them as many reps as we can get them and uh, put them in a position to earn playing time and play. What's been your impression of the defense through one week and what do you want to see them through one? Well, uh, defensively, I think we've played, we've played really well. We've played physical. We've played with a spirit. Uh, we've played with a passion for the game. We run to the football. We've made some plays. We've created some turnovers. And uh, we've done a lot of good things on defense. Now it's, it's consistency over time, uh, not giving up big plays, not jumping offside, um, not having uh, flavored penalties or doing, you know, things that, uh, uh, you know, put, you, put your defense in a bad situation. So I like our pace. I like where we're going with it. And, uh, you know, we just got to get back out there and keep working and uh, find out what type of defense that we'll have. Do you feel like the two East Mississippi transfers, do you feel like they kind of add, added some athleticism maybe that wasn't there last year? Uh, well, no question. I don't know what was out there last year, but just off of what we had this spring, uh, like I said, Deshaun Tillman has uh, really come on, become a leader, you know, really hard work. Uh, he doesn't say a whole lot. He's quiet. You know, he's kind of a quiet leader, but – you know he's there. You know he's, he's in the uh, midst of the storm. So I'm really, really uh, excited. Dario uh, is very athletic. Of course, he was a wide receiver in community college, and now he's playing corner for us. And, uh, you know, he's brought some athleticism. He's a little older guy, has a lot of experience, and so um, really excited about him, about those two kids, what they bring to us. Do we have any other questions for Coach? Uh, okay. Thank you all.